Welcome back. In this chapter, we're going to show you how to calculate basic formulas. So as I just mentioned, we are looking to calculate the remaining budget specifically with a basic formula. So what I've done right here to calculate the remaining budget or the difference between my allocated budget and my budget spent columns is I've gone ahead and used a minus symbol to calculate that difference. So it's simply my allocated budget column minus my budget spent column. Now, an alternative to this is going to be using the functions that I have available in my formula builder. And the specific function that I'd be looking at is my minus function. So that is the formula that I have built out on my board that I'm going to now demonstrate for you back in my account. All right, so this is where I have that formula set up where I have gone ahead, I've selected from my functions section, specifically the minus function. And you can see right here, it's going to give me both a description of what the function does. So it will calculate the difference of two numbers. And it will also give me an example of how I can set up this formula to output the the value that I'm looking for. So what I'll have to do is rather than include a minus symbol, I would use that comma to differentiate between the two numerical values. So here I have minus and then in parentheses, I've included my allocated budget column and my budget spent column. So if I were to do this from scratch, just to give you an idea for the first example, I would select minus, I would navigate over to my columns section, and then I'm going to look for my allocated numbers, uh, my allocated budget rather, column. I'll select that, add a comma, and then I'm also going to add my budget spent column. And then I'm going to click this blue set formula button. So we can see it successfully added as expected. Um, and this did achieve what I was looking for specifically. Again, I do really recommend when you do go ahead and set up a function for the first time, and I'll also talk about this throughout today, is always to reference the example when you are first starting out with formulas or even as you continue to build more complex formulas down the line. In addition to this, you'll notice that I have um, a unit, the dollar symbol that's already been added. However, um, when you are first creating your numbers columns or your formula columns, that won't automatically be applied. If you click into this little column summary right here, you can see that you can assign both a unit as well as a function. So if I were talking about euros, I could easily assign the euro. If I'm talking about hours, I can simply click into this custom field and add hours, and it will automatically add next to my uh, numerical data that I have here. Similarly, with the numbers columns, I can also assign units as well as functions, just so you have that for reference. This concludes chapter one and two. Next up, we have chapter three, where we will be taking a look at how to build an if formula.